to cut them off. I never called you a liar. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hi, Monica. Yes, I know I do, but he's like, ah, oh, there's Holly. He's seriously fuck. Like they're driving me nuts. Like they, that's what they want. They get pleasure out of driving me nuts, both of them. And then they think they have a case. Like, are they stupid? They, oh, anyways, let's just move on. I'm having motorcycle guy over Friday and I'm forgetting the fuck out of him. I will remember what he said tonight the next time I think I'm in love with him again. Rose HDZ, ready? Well, kind of very important bees. There's ready set bees. I feel like mentally tortured. I do. Like, I feel like I'm gonna fucking, like, he's gonna kill me. Like, maybe not directly, but I can't let him get to me. I can't let him. How do I win? Well, tomorrow I have to clean all day. Because I feel bad. The guy is like, wants to come over like every day, and I just say, no, no, no. Why I got sick? I think it was stress. Honestly, anxiety. Like when I left my house and I just started like, I started sweating like really bad and then headache and like my heart pounding. And then like, I felt really weird. Like I never felt like that before. Like maybe one other time I remember feeling like that once or twice maybe. And now I'm like, oh no. And the, like the other times I felt like that, I got sick. So I'm like, I think I'm going to be sick later. So I'm like, should I go home? So that's why I got off the stream in case I- This motorcycle dude is way too eager to come over and hang. Yeah, he thinks so, S. Jan? <laughs> I don't know. He wanted, he wanted to meet up at uh, the marina and have drinks and stuff, but I don't know. I want to get my stuff in order here. I just have so much- I don't feel good, you know? And I want things to be per- like good and for Friday, so I'm gonna make sure my house- I'm gonna- we're gonna clean tomorrow, so I want to like get a good rest. I don't think I can sleep. I need to move my room around or something. I feel really weird. Yeah, we've met a few times. What if he doesn't leave me alone? What if he keeps trying to ruin my life? And like, he'll do it so that he's like under the radar. You don't know him. He's very, very, very conniving. He's very vengeful. Remember I told you about the guy he said that he got revenge on like years later when he got out of prison? I'm excited about seeing him, yeah. I miss- I do miss the motorcycle guy a little bit. Let's give him a name. Let's call him Kevin. I like the name Kevin. Kevin is gonna come over. Just clean and let him come over. Yeah, okay. He has no ammo if you say absolutely nothing and completely ignore him. You're right. You're right, Vicky. Kevin sounds terrible. Okay. <laughs> Kevin was your first of assistance name? Why do you believe any stories Nader told you? You know the lies all the time. You're right. <laughs> Best revenge against him is to live a free and happy life and let him fade away to nothing in your universe. Sounds wonderful. Kevin and Chantal sitting in a trim. That's He's gonna find himself with a harassment case if he doesn't- You're so much better without him. You even seem happier when you're not around him. Hello? Like, have I cried lately? Um, yeah. Because I don't feel insane when I'm- I'm- when I- I don't- Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't- I feel insane. He makes me feel insane. Like, I'm going crazy. Even when I just watch him, I feel insane. It, it, I can't. And I don't know how she sits there. Just like, mm, I don't know. Hmm. And putting on lipstick isn't gonna fucking help you. You still look dumb. Lipstick doesn't fix that. I wanna see if he wants to go to a movie. <gasps> yeah. No, Friday night. Friday night movie. If you stop talking about him, he will fade away like Roman. People only watch him for drama. They aren't watching for the food for sure. That's what seems to be a general consensus. Dennis just wants his green peen and he won't claim her either. Desperate Den- Oh, Dennis! I'm like, don't worry about him not worth it. He's gonna say anything to make you upset and be protective. He literally told Dee Dee on live she's not his type. He told Dee Dee that on live? He literally said he never cared about me. What does he think I'm gonna do? Move with him now? Is he crazy? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Listen, I know you're gonna watch this, and I know Dee Dee you're gonna watch this, and I'm never gonna talk to you either of you, you ever again, and you're gonna have to watch me grow and be happy. And I love that for you. You say this every week. No, I didn't say it last week. I was fucking nice to him earlier. Ew. The fucking nerd. You guys are not asking the good questions. You need to ask, like, why do you sleep in the same bed together? If <laughs> you friggin' liars. <laughs> Who's going through withdrawal me? Yeah, I'm the abuser. I don't know. I, because drunk towel, bipolar natter syndrome, because he makes me feel insane. I've never felt this way with somebody. I don't know how to explain it. Stop being ashamed of being a Funko baby. I don't get what you mean. I look pretty normal compared to some people on the internet. <laughs> Not anymore! But I can go from normal to fucking Funko baby in 2.0 seconds. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, let's get comfy and just chat. Some sort of validation? I don't know. 
I mean, I guess it's kind of natural. We look for acceptance and shit, but it's not healthy. If you could sense it happening earlier in your behavior, you have to resist even when everything in your loins is screaming at you to talk to him. You can sense it really quick then. I don't know how. <laughs> it's fucking sneaky, Anna. <laughs> it's torture. Passion, rage, fear, lust all mess with your brain chemistry just like drugs do. It would be normal for you to go through a withdrawal period. I feel like he, I, yeah. I feel like even though we're like cut off, he, the fact that we can like, I don't know what would pseudo communicate with these videos, I still feel a weird connect connection. And it's like tortures me. It actually really turns me off the way he talks about me and, and completely treats me like a piece of trash after everything I've done for him. I I'm done. Like I can't fucking, I'll die. I can't. That's what I mean. Like why? I just feel like he's never going to stop messing with me. Like the type of personality he has, he's always going to want to try to, he's going to hate me. Like he hated fucking Delphine. That's what he said, Delphine number two. This is what he fucking means. You need to go through the withdrawal and find someone. Yeah, you're right. Uh, no, I don't want to just sit and eat pizza. I just feel really sick in the head. When he starts being nice. He's too proud to do that, Anna. I don't have to worry about that. Never had any kind of niceness from him. When I think about it, barely. Maybe when he was really drunk. When he wasn't raging. He said his brothers were mad. <laughs> what? Why? Because I said they were hot. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. A cra He's always treated me like crap. And he gaslights saying I treat him like crap. If I go back to him, are we allowed to tell you off? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I'm not going back. Yes, tell me off, please. Yes, tell me off. Yes. So what if he hates you? Yeah, true. Who cares? My life is not really affected long term. Right? Really. I can literally just walk away and choose to like be like, bye Natter, I'm gonna fart on you. I mean, can being horny really ruin your life by making poor choices like this? I don't get it. Why the fuck would I do this to myself? I felt sorry for him, Jew honey. Like, the second day in bed, he told me his whole story and I believed him. I was all on his side. No, I mean, in Egypt, he can't go to Egypt. There was like some kind of like weird revolution or something in Egypt and he, he was like, I don't know, I can't remember what he said. He like told on like the president's son about something. I don't know. Bibi's like, that's bullshit. I don't want to get back at him. I just want to just forget him and move on with my life because I'm not going to live my life like that. No. His best bet? Like, I don't get it. I don't get the dynamic with him and Do. I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, they're not together, supposedly, which is bullshit. Or no, sorry. I mean, why? If, if you just live with Dee Dee. Like, why would you? Why? If he does, if he wants to be with Dee, why would he just not live with her? It's not for me to get. You're right. It always drove me nuts, though. And now it's nice to know I don't care. I honestly feel so good that I'm starting not to care as much. I want to go eat a jar of pickles. I was gonna look up different things to do with pickle juice. Yeah. No, they don't flirt at all. They act like, I don't know, brother. They don't, there's no... He wants a skinny white girlfriend. Why? You can be ugly and skinny. Can't Listen, you? Listen, Dee Dee, at this point I don't give a fuck. You, <laughs> you have yourself a prize. Good luck. Like, Natter said I sent him 500 for... See what he does? See what I mean? He's never, ever, ever going to, he's always going to find an answer, a new lie to try to make me look bad. This is why I could never fuck with him. He doesn't care about anything but how he looks and himself. Um, at this point, I'm 100% done talking about him. And from now on, believe what you want. I've said what I have to say. To me, it's obvious he's a liar. That's it. Trying to think how I could prove that it wasn't for cocaine. <laughs> but see, um, there's always going to be something. There's just no point. He knows if he lives with Dee Dee or is open about his relationship with her, you're gone for good. But if you guys live together, he would still have Dee Dee in his life. He needs many simps. Because he can't stand himself. He needs constant validation that he's a good person when he's not. Dee Dee's face looks so oily all the time. And her hair looks nicotine stained. I'll do a, I want to do a lie detector test. I want to. Does anyone have a lie detector test? I want him and I to do I want to go to Mori. I want to go to Mori. <laughs> Fucking serious. Oh, he can't travel. Ah, I love that for you. Uh, so if you sent Natter 500 for cocaine, 
He just admitted to being a de being a dealer. He's not smart. You're so right. I never thought of that. He just admitted while on probation that he I sent him 500 for cocaine. Okay. Chantal, you may stretch the truth a lot, but I see you can't hold on to a lie for your life. Nope, it does eat me up. It does. It does, because you, you're only lying to yourself. You know, like at the end of the day. I know. He was so jealous that I apparently made Dee Dee whatever like he that's why he did it he wanted to he's like i just did it. i wanted to prove that i was i want to see if i was better he has to be better at everything yeah he a uh, legit apparently drunk tal just said he admitted to purchasing he said the proof i sent you he said that i sent it for cocaine i, I sent him 500 for cocaine and I didn't start talking about him. I was nice to him today. He's the one who's talking shit. He's having a whole Q&A with Dee Dee. And they think they have a case? Guy, I'm gonna like destroy you with friggin' evidence. Like, don't even go there. At the end of the month, he's gonna have some excuse why he didn't you sue you or block people from asking. Yep, two weeks. If he or she even had a free consultation, the lawyer's first words would be to stop talking about you immediately. They are lying. The stress is a moo moo. I love it. And Kevin likes it too. I like Kevin. Oh, I really like Kevin. He's such a good kisser. He is already retracting that he's going to sue you. What do you mean? <sighs> Cringy. I know. I know. It does make me more anxious. Fucking. <laughs> she has nothing. You did this to yourself. Now you take responsibility for it and live with your consequences, just like every other adult human being. And if you cannot really see that you inserted yourself in this, Christmas, you tell people to go back to Christmas, go back to Christmas. When you came over, like you saw what I was going through with him. Did you not? Did you not? Are you blind? Like literally, what is your excuse? No, even if you're blind, word of mouth. So there's no excuse. Find a real chef, yeah. Still, you kept bringing it up. You need to take some accountability. Bringing up what? Bringing up what? What did I keep bringing up? Yeah, I mean, I, accountability? What do you mean? I don't take accountability? Do you know how many times I've come on here and apologized for shit I didn't do for him? <laughs> yeah, her financial situation. Well, she, I don't know. Weed gives you anxiety? Yeah. I know, it does give- it, yeah, it can make your anxiety worse. It depends. It can help too, though. Like, it helps me for sure. So, guys, maybe I should go- I don't want to go to- oh, I don't want to be tempted to watch his live stream. Or go look at him or be triggered or- I just feel uneasy for some reason.